This programme contains strong language from the outset and throughout. I remember like walking past the phone box and Sophie's on the phone to our mom. And when I was walking past, she was like, <laughs> like in hysteric, like hysterics crying. Just the fact that I was in there and I was like, I remember walking past it and shit, like she's really upset that I'm, I'm in here. And I remember thinking like, why? Just think I was really young and a bit jealous that Marnie came into the show as this new, fresh girl, beautiful, and sort of stealing the limelight. Really did affect our relationship. We were always so close and we were always just surrounded by friends. It was like battle of the mams as well. And I do think that really affected them too as well. It was like the whole family was affected. It's such a shame that that happened because I never thought in a million years me and Marnie would fall out because of that. It took us a year to actually get the courage and message and be like, this needs to stop. We're family and we need to stick together. And you remember from that moment, me and Marnie have got closer than ever. Me and Sophie are closer than we've ever been at the minute. Like, we talk all the time. Dottie Shaw learned me so many lessons. It learned me how to be thick-skinned, to not take everyone's opinion too seriously, to be yourself and doesn't matter what anyone thinks. And I will always be grateful for that. Marnie, you are right? No, I'm not. I'm just feeling shit. I don't... I can't really get out of bed. I've always had a sense of bladder. It only became chronic in 2016, but I managed to get it under control. It was after the birth that it flared up again, and then I just wasn't able to get it managed again. Like, no medication would work, and I was in so much pain. Like, my bladder was basically, like, on fire. I've been there on this ride with Marnie and her bladder. We didn't know what it was, we just thought it was cystitis constantly and we were a bit like, oh, we sort of brushed it off. But I think when I lived with Aunt Geordie Shaw, that's when I seen it firsthand. She used to just cry and I, I always just used to feel so helpless. And I think obviously since she's had rocks, it's got worse. I think as a mother to watch your daughter in pain on a daily basis, especially being a new mom, is, it's just, it's heartbreaking. I would just cry and cry and cry at a time in my life that was supposed to be the happiest time in my life because I just had rocks, but I was so ill, it was just preventing us from truly enjoying rocks in the first couple of months of his life. It's really hard dealing with it, um, but I feel like I have to be strong, because I feel like if I'm not strong, and I show her that I'm not strong, I feel like that's just gonna break her, so. It's just been horrible. Like, I've seen money in some really dark places. You tell me where your heart is. I was in such a dark place. I was getting myself really in this horrible mind state where like, I was thinking like, if I'm like this forever, how am I gonna do this with rocks? Like, how am I gonna take them like out places? How am I gonna take them to the zoo? How am I gonna go on holiday? And it was just getting this, this horrible, mindset where like I just thought that like I was better off just not being here because I thought like I'm gonna hold him back honestly I was in such a bad state of mind like living with a bladder condition every day because I was just unable to do anything unable to um, look after rocks like no one will understand like how much Casey like has been there for me and rocks like he's been unbelievable when I look back it's just been the hardest thing ever the only thing I can do as a mom is support her try and give her positivity and help her, th her through it by talking to her calm, trying to calm her you know telling her you know giving her hope yeah. Good job, darling. Mm, I love you. I love you too. I'm so thankful now for the good days that I'm getting and I'm definitely getting better because I'm having good days where I'm not in pain. And it's made us so appreciative of, of my health and for Rox and for Casey's health and Rox's health. And yeah, and it's like, 
I'm just so thankful for it. I'm really thankful. Hey guys, it's Marnie here. If you want more Geordie OJ videos like this one, then don't forget to like and subscribe now. What are you waiting for?